Hey guys, Lockpicnic here. If you were watching this video, you likely saw my Instagram reel or YouTube short that went unexpectedly viral. I felt those videos lacked a little bit of context, so I wanted to provide a little bit of insight into what I was doing. Seeing these videos go viral was a bit unexpected because key decoding is something that locksmiths do daily, whether it's visually or using a key gauge. It's a very common occurrence in the locksmith world. Anyways, that aside, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a working key with the numbers obtained through the decoding process with the Flipper Zero. Let's get to it. Most residential or commercial lock sets you purchase will come with two keys. And on these keys will be the factory bidding. 33223. 33223. Those are the cuts on the keys. And those relate to the length of the pins in the lock. It's sort of like the password to the lock in layman's terms. Now this tough guard deadbolt here is perfect for this demonstration because the keys that came with this lock actually don't have factory bidding stamped on them. That is where key decoders come into play. This is a Schlag key decoder, and it is meant for Schlag keys. However, you can get other decoders that cover a wide variety of manufacturer specs. Now, I've been locksmithing for a little over a decade, so a basic residential key like this is something I can decode by eye. However, if I wasn't able to do so, I would grab one of those steel decoders. But the Flipper Zero can also decode these keys, just like the key decoders I just showed. So you want to make sure you're on the right manufacturer, in this case SC4, instead of KW1. Go to Measure. Take your key, place it on the screen. Now, SC4 is for six pin Schlag locks. This is a five pin, so we're gonna ignore the first input here. Looks good. So what can I do with this information? Typically, the locksmith will take the decoded cuts of a key and input it into a code machine. That's a fancy key machine that will cut keys to manufacturer specs. That's not what I'm going to do in this video. Instead, I'm going to input this information onto a website that will generate a SDL, which is a 3D file format, that I will load onto my 3D printer and make a working duplicate. So keygen.co is the website we're going to be looking for. It's actually a really handy website if you're into this sort of thing. Our options range from Schlag Classic to Quickset, Best SFIC, Schlag Primus Classic, Medical Classic and Biaxial, as well as Master Lock. And as previously stated, this is a 5-pin lock, not a 6-pin. Select 5-pin. And the warding is Schlag C. So basically, if you're doing a residential key, it's 99.9% it's chance it's going to be Schlag C. Go ahead and enter the bidding from the Flipper Zero and generate. It's going to take a couple minutes here, a couple seconds rather. And we will download the STL. Go ahead and take that downloaded file, drop it into your slicer, lay it down on the proper side with kind of the warding facing up so you don't need supports. Slice it and go ahead and upload and print.
we can then take this nice fresh off the press 3D printed key That's it. That's all. I hope this video provided a little bit more context in regards to the Instagram reel and YouTube short I uploaded. Um, there was a lot of misconception, a lot of people saying just trace it with a pencil or push it into a bar of soap. And unfortunately, soap manufacturers have not come up with a way for a bar of soap to actually decode the key for you instead of just giving you an imprint. But who knows, maybe someday. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.